Bauniak Plan is committed to expanding the free SHS as a dedicated area and livelihood empowerment against poverty to cover more vulnerable groups. And you know, um, I, I, I stand to be correct about the numbers, but since we came to office, we have expanded the big program almost by 100% in terms of the payout and in terms of the numbers. And uh, His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Baudia is committing uh, to intensify that, not only in terms of the payout, but expanding uh, the groups that should benefit from that program. But all in all, uh, an understanding that the government must be there for its citizens, and Dr. Baudia is committed to doing that for our country and our people. This uh, initiative will include targeted support for women, children, and persons with disabilities. Female entrepreneurs through tailored financial and technical assistance programs. Expanded access to healthcare system. Dr. Baubia's vision for Ghana, Ghana's healthcare what? sector is to build an inclusive, technology-driven, a uh, system that ensures equitable access to quality health care services for citizens, uh, for Ghanaian citizens. His health policy will address the sector's long-standing challenges, such as inadequate infrastructure, staffing shortages, compensation, motivation for higher specialization, job satisfaction, and outcomes for patients. Dr. Mahmoud Baudia's plan will significantly improve Ghana's healthcare infrastructure, access, and delivery. Cornerstone of the plan, again, I mentioned this earlier, is the Agenda 111, the unprecedented investment in the health infrastructure this country has ever seen since independence. He will continue that investment and ensure that the health infrastructure base of our country is sound and solid to take uh, take care of our growing healthcare needs in the country and perhaps set us up as a hub for uh, medical tourism in the South region. The plan will add, uh, just for information, I'm, I'm sure you know this, the Agenda 111 plan will add 101 districts, hospitals, and six regional hospitals in the newly created regions. When completed, they will provide high quality health care uh, at the district level to ease the pressure on tertiary hospitals like the Confra uh, and the Kolebu uh, teaching hospitals, among others. Uh, and those of you who are conversant uh, with these hospitals, the, the big, big hospitals, they have the, the pressure coming to them because most of the, the primary level hospitals are mostly um, not able to absorb that. But if you have a situation where we have all these 101 district hospitals come on stream, it would completely alleviate that burden on these big or tertiary hospitals to ensure that they focus on their teaching and research mandates. Modernization of existing facilities. Regional and district hospitals will be renovated and upgraded to provide state-of-the-art equipment, state-of-the-art equipment and facilities for specialized care. The centralized economic, sorry, the centralized electronic medical record system will be expanded to ease data management challenges and facilitate uh, patient care and referral management. Establishment of new hospitals. Baumia Park will intensify the building of new hospitals and new health facilities to underserved communities. And I mentioned this earlier, mainly in rural areas, to reduce the travel time and costs associated with accessing health care outside their immediate environment. It will also deepen the provision of free maternal health care, child immunization, and nutritional support for pregnant women and infants. Provision of specialized centers of excellence. To reduce dependence on foreign medical treatment, the Baumia administration will invest in specialized centers for advanced care, including cardiology, 
oncology, and nephrology. I would say classic. He did go sit in the front. He did go sit in the front. Strengthening primary health care facilities to handle basic medical needs, thus reducing the burden on tertiary hospitals, just I just mentioned some of them, Ophanochis, Kolebu, and some of the regional teaching hospitals. This, will deepen, uh, this effort will ensure the deepening of the digitization of the national health insurance scheme to enhance access, eliminate fraud, and ensure timely reimbursement of service providers. Training and retention of health workers. Increasing investment in training programs for doctors, nurses, and allied health professionals. This initiative in this initiative will uh, offer scholarship, scholarships and incentives to encourage specialization in high demand fields and ensuring equitable distribution of healthcare workers across the country, particularly in rural and deprived areas. So the, the use of incentive and uh, enhancing job satisfaction for uh, medical professionals uh, will be uh, escalated and ensure that the environment is, is conducive and that they can stay and serve their communities uh, for the overall health of our economy and our country. Improve working conditions. To reduce brain drain, retain doctors and achieve job satisfaction, the Baumia plan will enhance salary and benefits or benefits for health professionals, including vehicle tax exemption, and improve workplace facilities to boost performance and morale. I'm sure you are aware of these proposals in our manifesto. Uh, for the first time, uh, medical uh, professionals will have access to um, some exemptions in vehicle acquisition. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Mahmoud Baumir's vision to make Ghana competitive and takes advantage of the fourth industrial revolution. The MPP, the MPP's call for Ghanaians to vote for Dr. Mahmoud Baumia as the next president of the Republic is clear in the bold solution uh, summaries that I've just read to you under these five themes. We invite you, ladies and gentlemen, and all Ghanaians who are eligible to vote starting 2nd December 2024, to vote massively for Dr. Mahmoud Baumia and the MPPs, parliamentary candidates across the country, based on the relevance and the workability of these policies that I just read to you. And I invite you also to take advantage of our, uh, the availability of our manifestos online uh, to uh, acquaint yourselves with it. And the details in there and to assess for yourself how practical these are and make the decision based on facts, not on emotion, not on any of the threatening violence that the NDC is putting out there, but on sound ideas that are capable uh, of transforming our economy uh, to, make it, uh, to make Ghana uh, the best place for us all to live and flourish. So ladies and gentlemen, compared to the former President John Tramani Mahama, Dr. Mahmoud Kaumia is the best choice for Ghana and should be your best choice when you cast your vote uh, on Monday. Uh, and most of you, I'm sure, will be voting on Monday. Uh, please do that uh, because it is it's, it's beyond emotion, it is beyond um, like or dislike. It's a, a choice that you're making for yourself be part of a decision that moves Ghana forward rather than regress our lot. And so I invite you as potential uh, voters on starting uh, December 2nd, Monday, to consider your own interest, which is what about me represent, and cast the vote for number one, uh, for President of Ghana, Baumia, and the MPP parliamentary candidate, wherever you will vote. As I said, compared to the former president, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia is my best choice for these reasons. One, Baumia offers a superior policy solution for Ghana's next chapter. 
So if you are voting, you wonder what is in it for God? What is it that the NDC candidate, His Excellency Dr. Mike Bahama, saying that is compelling, that is practical, that is workable, that demonstrates from his uh, record that he can actually do the things he's saying? And compared to His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Baudia, who I just told you what he has promised to help reduce cost of living in our country in the form of introducing electric buses, he has done. That was commissioned today and it's on the streets. It's not a mirage, it's actually out there, you can see it. Compared to him, I offer to you Dr. Mahmoud Baudia, who is offering a real relevant and practical solution and and workable solution, which are actually being delivered, as we speak, uh, to consider him for your, your vote on, on December 2nd and on 7th, if you are not voting on 7th. Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, again, is a better choice because he provides an ingenious and a workable plan to sustain and build on the economic recovery we're experiencing presently. And if you listen to the NDC, Nowadays, they acquire the habit of talking inflation, uh, inflation, now inflation is coming down, and they're talking about depreciation of the currency. We appreciate the difficulties that that has brought to us as a people, but it's not for want of better management. It's not because the economy has not been managed well. It's practically because the whole world is hurting. Currencies up and down the globe are strong. If we're, we're going to have a candid information conversation in our country, it is nothing that this government has done that has led to the, the exchange rate uh, faltering that we have seen recently. But the question I want to ask when you go to vote is whilst the NDC is capitalizing on this misfortune and this uh, hiccup, you ask yourself, what is their plan to reverse it? Assuming that you vote for them, what is in their plan that gives you confidence that they can reverse it? Right here, you have seen how this administration reversed the deterioration that took hold in 2022 and have actually stayed the worsening of the depreciation of the currency by coming up with an ingenious idea that has never been proposed, that has never been tried. That is a, uh, the oil, the Gold for Oil initiative that has succeeded in staying the, the strength of the city and ensuring that oil prices actually came down in our history. Growing up, when things go up in Ghana, they don't come back down. But we have seen it in our lifetime how the oil prices have come down. And was as a result of the, the, the currency position, how fast the city was depreciating in 2022. But that ingenious solution has reversed it. So, as somebody told me uh, in an example, to say that if you are flying anywhere, you are flying anywhere, you want, to, you want to be sure that the person sitting in the cockpit understand what he's there to do and can actually do it. It is not a question of who you like or who you don't like or who can dramatize issues better, but it is ultimately so that you can have somebody who will get you to your destination. And my argument to you is that the NDC has not been provided. They have not one single evidence in their manifesto to tell you that this is how we are going to strengthen the city. They have not. The balance of it is English, you know, turnover of words to create some impression but in substantive, practical terms, in measurable terms, they have not offered any solution in that department. But I've told you that leveraging our goal, which is part of Dr. Mahmoud Baumia's uh, initiative, will help us arrive at that destination where, as a country, our currency will be, stable, will be stabilized and will be stable for a long term. Because we have the goal and we'll use the goal to back our city which he has demonstrated, and as president, will give every effort to that policy to ensure that it actually takes football. Baumia, again, is good for Ghana and must be your choice on December 7th 
or if you are voting early on December 2nd, because he will protect and strengthen the free SHS policy, which by all accounts has been a successful initiative, has been a thoughtful initiative, has been a compassionate initiative, has been a right initiative. Barring whatever implementation challenges it has, it has been one of the major interventions in education in our country, and it is good for our, our people, and it is facilitated, has facilitated the education of some 5.7 million Ghanaian students. And I think that we should do everything we can in our power on December 2nd and 7th to ensure the preservation of this policy for our own children, for our siblings, our nephews, our nephews and nieces to participate or benefit from this initiative. But there again, it's a better choice for us, Ghanaians, than the alternative, because Baumea will expand healthcare access by completing the Agenda 111 projects, equipping and operationalizing them, and ensuring job satisfaction for all healthcare professionals. Baumea is a better choice for us on December 7th, and December 2nd and 7th, because Baumea will be accountable to Ghanaians, because it has eight years allowable under the 1992 Constitution to be present. Therefore, it will necessarily deliver on these promises, some of which are read to you in order to merit your uh, gifting him of a second chance uh, when the time comes. Unlike the alternative, who has only four years to go, and later on I'll tell you about his own assessment of being uh, having four years and what you can do with four years. Baumia again is a better option. As I told you earlier, it's been described variously. One of such impactful and uh, perhaps uh, uh, relevant description of him, uh, which comes from uh, people's experience of him, is that he is a thinker and a doer. And much of these ideas that I've, I've spoken, we've spoken about, uh, most of them are very new and incisive ideas. Just how we can be able to arrest the depreciation of the city and be able to bring down fuel costs in our country. And it comes up with this goal for oil initiative, which has helped in the limited uh, period of time, which has helped to earn Ghana about 2.79 billion in, 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 in foreign, uh, foreign exchange to settle our obligations. That is incisive. And beyond that, I want to just let you know, Ghana, you have heard growing up, let me go to Obwasi and many of the mining communities. We have been mining in this country for forever. But our own balance of gold, our gold reserve, was just about uh, nine tons when uh, we started the gold purchase program by the Bank of Ghana. Can you imagine that? A gold mining company, uh, sorry, a gold mining country. And all our reserve is nine tons about 8.7 tons, was what we had to our name. But gold is a prized mineral. All we had was 8.9. By, by Dr. Baumia's uh, innovation and policy idea, we have started the, gold, the Bank of Ghana Gold Purchase Program. Our reserve has incrementally gone up, and I think that if, if, with time, we'll probably be, uh, become one of, of the, the, the countries in the sub-region with the highest gold reserve, and that would be good for our economy, that would be good for our currency, and that would be good for our political prosperity. Dr. Baumia, again, is good and better for Ghana because Baumia's economic plan is designed to make the Ghanaian youth globally competitive through his focus on information technology, coding and programming, robotics, AI, and the Internet of Things. That is a future economy, and Baumia, Baumia's ideas will put the Ghanaian on the center stage and make us competitive. And one of the reasons uh, for, for this is that the globe is trending that way. AI is taking over. If we make a mistake and elect the alternative, they have no idea, they don't believe in it. They don't believe in it, their ideas don't align with the, the, the trend of the globe. As my deputy is just suggesting, remember the kinds of things they are talking about, small ball politics. They are saying things that will tickle 
your fantasy in a sense that you, you it, it, not necessarily take it in a positive way, but to make you angry, to, to incite you against the government that is trying to do the best. I, I submit to you that if indeed there were any reasons why I think that the, you should vote for the NDC, I'll tell you. Because ultimately, whatever good ideas they have, the implementation of it will help our country. But I can honestly tell you, this is no politics, this is not me trying to get you to vote for uh, my candidate, uh, the, the vice president, uh, or our parliamentary candidates. But it's just plain truth. The NDC doesn't have it. They don't have it. Honestly, they don't. And you've been here. I've come here to tell you about the 24-hour economy. It's a great deception. Those who, can, uh, who cannot keep the lights on for 12 hours say that they can give us 24-hour economy. It's a great deception. We shouldn't do that. The consequence of any election is, is enduring and, in some cases, generational. And we cannot afford to make this mistake. This is a pivotal moment for our country. And the decision we are going to make, we cannot take it personally. We cannot make it lightly. We should make it looking at the impact it will have on the future of our country and, and beyond. So I commit, uh, submit to you that Baumia should be our choice. Baumia means business, which means that he's better for God. He will integrate the private sector into fiscal uh, policy operations to deliver critical infrastructure, create meaningful jobs, and increase productivity. And most of us, we talk about roads, we talk about hospitals, and our schools, and all of that. One of the ingenious ways Dr. Baumia is proposing is that we will we'll include the, the private sector in the delivery of this infrastructure. And you know always, uh, you pay attention to the budget, then you look at government's allocation for capital expenditure, they're often limited. How are you able to deliver all the infrastructure needs in any particular year with that limited amount of money? The one sure way to do it is to ensure that we engage in providing in integrating the private sector to build uh, these infrastructures and to leverage that uh, for, uh, for ensuring that we achieve uh, the infrastructural deficits that are in our country and ensure our people are better off uh, than uh, they were before. Bamiya means jobs. Again, I told you about a one million youth uh, project to train about uh, youth in IT development skills and make them globally employable. There are, there, there are many more reasons I can tell you why Dr. Mahmoud Bambia is better than uh, the alternative John Damani Bahama of the Elvis. Simply because across this country there is a general consensus among people that the Vice President Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Bambia has performed better in office than any vice president in recent history. As stated earlier, Baumia's initiative has led to the Baumia has initiated and implemented successfully about some 34 initi 33 initiatives as vice president. And I submit to you that as president, you will do exceedingly more than that. So ladies and gentlemen of the media, I am sure uh, permit me to be a bit more pastoral at this point. I'm sure you recall the parable of the bag of holes in Matthew 25, 14, 30. I summarize for you, a master entrusted his wealth to three of his servants. He gives five bags to one, two bags of gold to another, and one bag of gold to the third. The first two servants doubled the, the gold and returned it to the master upon his return. The third servant went straight and buried the bag of gold in the field and returned it to the master when he arrived. You know the details in between. The master was pleased with the first two servants but cast out the third servant into the darkness. Ladies and gentlemen, Baumia is an example of the good and faithful biblical servant because he has served Ghana well 
and deserves commendation and reward. The master in verses 28 and 30 made the following declarations, and I quote, So, take the bag of gold from him and give it to the one who has ten bags. For whoever has, for whoever has will be given more, and they will be and they will have in an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them and thrown and throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness where there will be national will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. I didn't say that this is the Bible. His Excellency John Devani Mahama is an example of the biblical wicked and messy servant who did not live up to expectation in his four years as president of this republic. Ladies and gentlemen, like the master in Matthew 25, Ghanaians must vote on December 7th, or maybe let me go back a bit. Like the master, we voted in 2016 to cast out John Ramani Muhammad because he had not met expectations. But somehow in 2020, he thought that the, the verdict on him in 2016 was a flash in the pan. So he came again in 2020, and we roundly confirmed that our decision was absolute and clear in 2016. So again, we voted him out. He thought himself he didn't understand. He went to the court, didn't have any evidence, and he was roundly rejected. The unanimous verdict against his bogus claim uh, the petition, the 2021 petition, election, election petition, was roundly rejected, just like the Ghanaians. Now, in 2024, he's going to try us again. He's trying us again. And with all humility, I entreat us all to give the MPP a landslide victory in a way to retire the former president permanently from politics. We must reject former President John Ramani Muhammad because his four years as president brought untold hardship to Ghanaians. He slept in Dumso during those years. Businesses were destroyed. Youth employment broke world records. And, growing, and, and the growing economy he inherited was collapsing by the time he left office. Most revealing. Is the, is the fact that former President John Ramani Mahama gave up when his mismanagement made life difficult and Ghanaians demonstrated to demand better economic management. He said, he said, to, he said no amount of demonstration, and I'm sure you, you remember this, he said no amount of demonstration would move him because he was a dead girl. Ladies and gentlemen, the balance of a leader's job is dealing with challenges. But from what we have seen from the former president, we have shown that he cannot deal with challenges. Therefore, on December 7th, we must vote to show the former president, John Domani Mahama, and the NDC that we, the people of Ghana, cannot afford the risk of electing a president who cannot respond to our needs in challenging times. The former president did not perform well, and this is essentially a matter known to all of us, and it's evident in the vote in 2016 and 2020, not perform well in office between 2013 and 2016. So he does not merit the reward, and given the scripture, we should not reward him. This is especially true when all he has his four years. And here's where I promised you I'll tell you about his own view about four years and what one can use it to do. He says four years is not enough to make a difference as a government. And so the question is, what has changed? The question is, what is it coming to? The question is, is it now true that four years is enough to make a difference? Those are questions I know a former president cannot answer, which then goes to the heart of why we shouldn't vote for him. 
cause his economic difference. He himself has said it, and it's a practical impossibility for him to do it. But rather, His Excellency John Bermat and Dr. Mahmoud Baumia has what it takes, has the allowable eightness to be able to deliver in the first four, give a good account of himself so we can give him another four years. Therefore, ladies and gentlemen, voting for the former president, John Bermat Mahama, will amount to taking Ghana back, and you and I another four to take Ghana back to when our peers in the sub-region are striving forward. We the people, as I just read to you in scripture, are the masters of Ghana's destiny. We've entrusted our powers uh, in the former president before, and we are about to do so again with a choice between him and His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud and the invitation is for you, based on his delivery in the first four years, and based on deserves no reward. So on December 7th, your decision must reflect the wisdom of the parable we just read in the Bible. To reward the good and faithful servant of the people, being Dr. Mahmoud Baumia, with your votes, because he has shown the potential to do even better for Ghanaians as president. Finally, we make the appeal to you as you vote on December 2nd and most of us on December 7th, starting with a special voting. Please cast your ballot for Dr. Mahmoud Baumia and the MPP parliamentary candidates. That will be number one across all the ballots in line with what you know to be true what your expectations are. And when you give a piece of job to someone to do, those who do a good job, you invite again. Those who do a poor job, you will not invite. The credit is clear on the former president's performance, four-year performance in office. This is not me saying it. You and I, we voted massively, unprecedented banner to send him home simply because he didn't perform. And I invite you that we don't reward him because he had failed us, he had not been a faithful, uh, he has not been a good and faithful servant of the people of Ghana. So therefore, on December 7th, let's vote for the one who has been faithful, who has been good to Ghanaians. His Excellency Dr. Mahmoud Baumia should be your choice on December 7th or on December 2nd when you take the lead to vote in a special vote. Thank you very much for coming.